Today we're in the city of Tortosa. Since about the 6th century, there's been history of Jewish people living here in the city of Tortosa. Even though the occupation of the Islamic Empire lasted for nearly a thousand years, uh, there's actually been traces of Jewish people also living here since possibly the Roman times. Even though many Spaniards will claim that Tortosa doesn't really have many interesting things, uh, and I can partially agree, one interesting thing about this city um, in Catalonia is that it actually has history of a time when there were Catholics, uh, Jews and also Muslims in the city all at the same time and living in different parts of the city. To be honest with you, I've actually never been down here before, even though I've been living here a little while now. Um, I only discovered the other day that there was an old Jewish neighborhood or uh, Barrio Judio. Today I wanted to go and try and find that, see if there's anything left over from the old Jewish quarter and um, see if we can meet any Jewish people maybe try any Jewish food so join me on this very Jewish adventure in Spain let's see what we can find of the old and the new Jewish quarters maybe we can compare them a little bit and see what we can find along the way that's interesting fuck they got Alfa Romeo police cars here you know According to the internet, this is where you'll find the old remnants of the Jewish quarter, the neighbourhood. So, it's supposed to be on either side of this avenue that we'll find it. So, I guess we're just going to go ahead and see what's going on down here. It's very, it's very peaceful at the moment. So, let's look for signs of any any signs of Judaism. This is where the old bread was made, the unleavened bread back in the old times, but uh, I guess there's nothing from it now. Well, I don't know if it was this building or if it was this building. This one now is a small little shop. A little bit of a maze, you know? Obviously, one looks good either way. Oh, here's just shitloads of cats. Tons of cat food there. Well, I'm gonna show there's millions of them. Let's see if we can pass or not. They must be somewhere. Oh, she's dead in. Okay, we can't, we can't go that way. Cats look a little bit bucked out. Psst, psst, psst. Psst, psst, psst. Okay. Psst, psst, psst. You got food? This one looks like he's proper mad dogging me, this one. Street cats. He's got like one eye. Don't worry, man. It's all good. Oh no, there's a dog there. That's not such a good sign. This literally is like one of my biggest fears is just to be alone and see a dog alone especially if it has a little bit of a, a mad face you know de viejo barrio judio es aquí no muy estrecha es sí. es un laberinto no si 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 de donde eres? de inglaterra si sí, pero vivo aquí well guys apparently this is where the pottery was made sounds like some people just live in there now they're just bitching it's pretty cool i mean it's dating to like it says it was still there for the first half of the 20th century, I don't know. But this was the pottery place or Tedesiria. The whole thing just made out of stone. It's held up a lot better than many of the other buildings that are around here to be fair. Oh, what's going on up here? I've never been to this part so I'm quite excited. Oh wow. What is this? 
Pesite la fortificaciones. Okay, so it's the fortified passage, I guess. Torre del Celio, Portal de Jesús. I think this is the Tower del Celio. I don't know if you could go up there now. You probably can if you pay. But other than that, it's a super chill area, man. I mean, there's a guy fixing his BMW over here. Is it real M5? Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Let's have a look this way. Let's see what's happening. Yo, this is crazy. Still interesting though. Looks like they're doing some work up here. Wow, look at that door, man. That's beautiful door. That's an elegant door right there. But as you can see, some of the places are really, really nicely kept, like really, really nice and tidy. And others like this one next to it, still from that old stone, is like falling apart so much. Like how that degraded. So far, I haven't seen any overtly Jewish places or anything, but uh, I'm still interested. It's becoming a bit of a labyrinth, to be honest. A little bit of a maze. I guess it's the remnants of it. Bucky can't go down anymore, but I'm guessing before this was all covered, then you could just send the bucket straight down and get some drink. That's beautiful, man. Te importa si yo graba un video. Okay, guys, we're exploring this neighborhood, and I've met my two friends. ¿Cómo te llamas? Ali, Ali, Leon, Leon. Hablas inglés también? Yeah, yes. Poco, poco. Poco, poco. You guys are very friendly. They offered to me. They say let's go sit somewhere in the shade. Let's talk a little bit. So. The event just have a few salty vegetables. We have had a few comrades. We have had a few comrades. We have had a few comrades. que se pueden a levi a que pecho llega en el chacar la anda que te te toca oye que nosotros médicos de aquí no vale tampoco nadie nada sabes solo mentiroso tienes aquí mentira mucho mucho mentira todos días yo paseando uno médico otro médico uno parte otro parte penal no arreglado nada de nada visto esto video sí. después mucho like mucho sí 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 yo espero por eso sí Look at this tower. Oh, it looks beautiful, but is it outside of those margins? I don't know what the place is. They're doing construction or what? Yo. Yo, look at this place. I have no idea, maybe some sort of historical site. I didn't know it existed. It looks like it could have been an old hotel or some kind of government building. No idea now. Oi, it's a big step now. That's pretty much it for this district, I think, for the old part anyway. Now we're in this area. And as you can see, there's so many different eras of like buildings and structures around here. And my neighbor had a police incident going on there. I don't know what actually went down. Maybe it was a murder or something. But... 
Some of these bars, I don't know when they last opened, but the, the premises of them is tiny. Check out this bar Caribe right here, the Caribbean bar. Who knows when it opens or what the vibe is like, but maybe one day we're gonna check it out and see if there's any Caribbeans in there. Good Samaritan kind of came with pain today. I just helped a guy lift like a wardrobe into the back of his van. I was trying to be nice. Ah, oh, fucking sliced my finger open on the fucking cupboard. And now I've just got a flap of skin that's just hanging off. That's how it is. So uh, anyway, I think so far we had quite a good exploration of the old Jewish quarter. Met a couple of people. We looked at some cool things. We almost got eaten by a dog. No, I'm not scared of dogs, okay? Maybe a tiny bit, but I've been bitten by a dog before, so that's why I'm a little bit cautious of them now, okay? So, now, we're going to come out of the old Jewish quarter. We're actually gonna go and explore what became the new Jewish quarter, which was by, I think, towards the late 14th century. It became the new uh, living place, the new neighborhood for Jewish people in Tortosa. So, Let's go and have a look at the new Jewish quarter and let's see how it's different to the one that we were just in, which was quite tranquil, quite pretty, and uh, you know, very old as well. So uh, let's go and have a look and see what's going on over there. And now I'll let you guys make up your mind on which one that you like the most. And I'll keep sucking my finger. Mm. Ow. Okay guys, to start the mark of the, the new Jewish quarter, possibly the kebab shop with the best view in uh, all of the city, if not all of Spain. Check it out, you've got a kebab shop right here and you just have amazing cathedral right here. So, if kebab is your thing, um, why not have a kebab with like a fucking amazing view? of streets you've just got this amazing inscription of old language no idea what language it is it's very hard to like read it it could be some latin stuff but the one the script up here i have no idea this is something completely different and it's like looks like some medieval kind of text for example you just find these kind of things everywhere so if we take down this street right here So we're entering the new version of the Jewish Quarter, which is not really called the Jewish Quarter anymore. They pretty much call it Casco Antigo, which is like a uh, old town. We don't really find many Jewish people here anymore, to be honest, but they have cool things. They have like a grocery store with like fresh vegetables, fruits and stuff. So it's a good place to go to get some food. They have many of those around here though, because they have one right here and uh, they have another one right here down this street. So, you know, locals can pretty much come out of their house and buy something to eat, some veg or some fruit or something like that. So 
it's already a problem this place late at night also you can get meat in here um obviously it's like a I think it's an Islam butchers, so don't go in asking for pork. But if you want to get beef or lamb or something like that, it's perfectly fine. So, uh, literally amazingly fresh stuff everywhere. So, and I've had like fruit and vegetables from these places before, and they tend to be a lot more ripe than if you go to the supermarket. So, if you want to have fruit that's ready to eat, you don't have to ripen it on your windowsill. Then, places like this in these towns are actually quite good places to go. So, Let's have a look up here and I want to show you a little bit more of this body. Amazing. I just love the decay of it. Like I love like the crumbling buildings and the little like setup bars. It looks like some of the bars that's not legal. It looks like they've just been created out of preference when I and I just like it around here, man. It's just cool. Like some places are more modern, like this place right here. And some places are way more, way more antique. Like here on the corner. We still have like the remnants this is like the old signs for the streets and you still have like the old stone features on the buildings but down here there is something that is like a definite jewel of the whole place and uh i'm not really sure what it is exactly but it's a beautiful building i'm going to show you because uh it is honestly quite different to most of the stuff that we get to see around here other than say the cathedral which was uh, like recently renovated so it looks a lot nicer this building has just always looked kind of perfect with the tile roof and stuff like that so have a look from here from this view okay so like i said i have no idea what it's called i'm not a, i'm not an architect specialist or a tourist but um it's just a beautiful building check it out and now literally like right next to it they have a library but another really interesting part is like directly opposite and it's here and it's kind of some kind of gateway um, I feel like it's the Jewish gate. I don't know. I think it's the gateway where the Jewish people were coming in. So plenty of cool areas. Plenty of cool areas like this one. As we approach, it just, it makes you feel like it's from Assassin's Creed or something. Super cool, super, super cool. Super guy. And there's some like mega old stone carvings up here. So pretty interesting place, pretty interesting place. Here with like the orange one is completely new and like renovated and it looks fresh. It looks really fresh, right? And the ones next to it are more like the older places. And uh, a lot of them actually were damaged during the war. So during like the Franco era, a lot of these places got damaged and it was from like bombing and stuff from planes so yeah pretty pretty crazy um he was obviously on hitler's side so they were bombing against the free world pretty much so uh but you know you still have little bars look they have an arab bar i don't know if they sell alcohol in there though or not the idea of having an arab bar seems kind of strange because if it's a muslim bar then i'm guessing you can't drink alcohol inside that so but there are a couple of bars and things around here there's another one behind me because I know that the, the some of the Muslim people smoke cigarettes. I don't know if they're allowed, but uh, it seems like drinking alcohol is a, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a bar for coffee and juice. But yeah, loads of things going on. Drug deals going on down there. All kinds of shit. Okay, so now we're literally approaching the main shopping avenue of the old town of the Jewish quarter, if you will. We're literally right at the start of it. And uh, this is pretty much a lot of shopping that goes on here. Uh, a lot of people come here to chill out. That's pretty much it. It's more of the same. Everywhere you go, it's like one shop after another, after another. Some actually have designer. Some of them, it's like a Chinese designer. But, um, I never do any shopping down in these places at all, to be honest, for clothes. I, I'm not really the kind of, not really the kind of clothes I'm going to be into. We're coming to the end of this new Jewish quarter, right? The new part of the old town, the Bari Yehudia. And uh, there is some final building, right? That we're going to finish with that is absolutely stunning. And uh, I have no idea who lives in there. To be honest, I don't think it's a house for someone. I think it's uh, some kind of government building or something, but.
to yeah shit i totally forget the name of this building but it's definitely one of the best preserved and one of the most detailed constructed in the whole place it looks like somewhere that like royalty would live and uh i'm not sure how much of it is actually like renovations and how much of it is classic here we have behind this amazing house it is something else again i have no idea who lives up there or the history of it but these kind of structures here are pretty spectacular man they've been really really well looked after which just tells me that um this is kind of the edge of where money really starts getting put in as you get to the end of this house everything has considerably more money pumped into it now and the interesting thing is when you see this structure here there is something directly opposite that's kind of similar just not so renovated and nowadays is a bar so it's a bar called manolitos and have a look at the corner here and just compare But guys, I think that is literally it for our Jewish Quarter tour because now, as you can see behind, that's like everywhere that we came from. So I don't really know what else there is that we can explore in this video, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of the old Jewish Quarter and the new Jewish Quarter. Uh, let me guys know down below what you thought of the video. Please put a like if you haven't liked it yet. And if any of you understand Urdu, you can really help me out and give me some ideas to what the guy was saying before from Pakistan. I would really like to know. I'm actually quite curious of what he was saying. It sounds like an interesting language. So, Odu speakers, please help me in the comments. And uh, until next time, guys, you all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.